<laughs> I am not as short as you think I am. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, President Savani Didoyen, of East Africa and the President my sister Your Excellency the President of Tanzania Madam Samia Suluhu Hassan Your Excellency, President Savakil, the Chair of East African Community, and the President of South Sudan. My dear colleague, General representing the President of Burundi, and my dear colleague, General representing the President of Rwanda, Prime Minister. Raila Odinga, my friend, my brother, and my dear sister, Mrs. Odinga. My dear colleague, President Kikwete, when you came in this morning, you wanted to sit where there was a flag. And I said to you, you and I are now men without flag. Distinguished diplomats, distinguished brothers and sisters from Africa, distinguished friends of Africa, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. President Ruto, I want to thank you and salute you because what we are doing today is on president presidented. We've never had occasion like this where we had a candidate and the candidate is giving so much support at home like you have given Raila 
And not only that, not just making him a candidate of Kenya, but a candidate of East African community. From what you have said and what Raila himself have said, we need a person at this critical stage of our development in Africa. But at this situation, the present situation of the world, where we have a fractured world, a world ridden with conflict and wars. Some experts said we now have 57 wars going on in the world. A situation where war was going or war is going on in Europe and we are suffering from hunger in Africa. A situation of insecurity, instability, unpredictability. And instead of common security and shared respons uh, responsibility and shared prosperity, we are wallowing in poverty. And we cannot get out of this unless we put our house in order and we do what we have to do individually as countries in Africa and collectively as a continent. Well, Mr. Raila said we will have a EU visa. I'm waiting for it. And I will never stop asking you for it when you get there. And the reason is this. On a few occasions, I've been invited to countries in Africa and I couldn't attend or answer the invitation because I couldn't get visa for the country that invited me. And as you rightly said, 35 visas to go through Africa. And some of these visas, it takes weeks before you get them. So if you are trying to get 35 visas for to visit countries in Africa, it will take you a year. That is not the way that we can make progress. But more importantly, and I know you. All that President Ruto has said about you, I will only put it in one word or uh, describe or add to it in one word, just to say, I concur. <laughs> because I know you. And as I said yesterday, you, knowing you have been a blessing, and I don't know whether I should also say the other part of it here. Because 
by knowing you as far back as the beginning of 1990s. You made me to come here in 1995 to go to Kisumu where we were yesterday and I was part of that last honor we did to Garamoji Udinga. When I returned home in Nigeria, I was accused of coming to Kenya to join the opposition to topple the government of Kenya. And I was also accused of planning coup in Nigeria that landed me in prison. So your invitation for me to come to Kenya in 1995, am I not keeping my mouth shut when I got back home, landed me in jail. So knowing you have been a blessing because if I haven't gone to jail, maybe I wouldn't have become president of Nigeria. <laughs> but President Ruto said, you will be making Africa proud and powerful. You are right, Mr. President. You will do more than that. You will make Africa proud. You will make Africa powerful. You will make Africa peaceful. And you will make Africa prosperous. We need it all. But you can count on our support. And you have seen it here. But what is going on today here also means extra responsibility on you and extra responsibility on us. Because if we have supported you and you get there, we have responsibility to make sure you succeed. We will do our part. We pray that God will make you do your part. 